Hi, I'm Sean Lang. What I just did there was an example of snare drum comping in metal music. So I took a basic pattern, which was straight sixteenths on the kicks and straight eighths on the ride, and I kept that going. And then I applied different, very simple patterns on the snare drum, which greatly changed the feel. So I started with, I think, something pretty straight on the on beat, and then I switched, and then I was on the off beat. Again, a very, or a very large change and will greatly affect the song that you're playing to. So today we're going to look at a bunch of different variations on the snare drum comping that will get you started and get you more comfortable playing different double bass drum beats. So the first exercise will be using straight quarter notes on the snare drum. So in this next exercise, we're going to take the snare drum and we're going to shift it over one eighth note, which will put it on all of the ands of every count. In this next exercise, we're going to take the snare drum and we're going to put it on every two and every four. For number four, we're going to place the snare drum on every single hit as the ride cymbal, so your hands are going to be moving in unison. So for this next one, I'm going to experiment a little bit with the snare drum pattern. It's not going to be so constant. It's not going to be always a quarter note or always an eighth. We're going to have a little bit of a mix. So the remaining five exercises we're going to do here are based on the first that we've already done. So once you've covered those first ones and become familiar and comfortable with them, move on to these. And remember to start slow and build up to where you're comfortable. So it'll be really, really good for you guys to take these exercises, line them up all in a row, 1 to 10, and start from the beginning, start slow, and just play through them for as long as you can, from 1 to the next, to the next, to the next. This will vastly increase your accuracy with your pedals and also lining up your hands with your pedals. That's something that a lot of guys don't spend too much time on, and it really, really shows. So that's something that you want to be really good at. So thanks again for watching. See you soon.